Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at High Fleet. This is a, uh, a, a sci-fi ship managing action strategy game being developed by Microprose. Which makes me happy saying that name uh, again. Anyway, what's going on here is this sort of in this somewhat futuristic post-apocalyptic thing. Uh, we are the Empire and it's our job to, uh, to put these rebels back in their place. Uh, there's a bit of a mixture here, so we're trying to manage a fleet, we're trying to, we can build a fleet, we can come in and make, make our own ships, if we wanted to create and craft our own ships. Uh, but, but we'll go in the campaign here and we'll, we'll explain what's happening in the thing. Um, we'll start up a new game here though, and, and, uh, we shall see. So, I am, uh, Tarkin of the fleet. Uh, I, I'm, I'm the head guy, basically, and it's my job to put down this, uh, this, this insurrection. There's also something about a, uh, a prophecy going on, but whatever. Um... To start off the game, we have to go and build ourselves a fleet. This has kind of, I guess, a bit of a star sector kind of a feel to it, to where each ship can be customized like we saw on that last screen. Uh, you can throw on missiles or, you know, whatever. Uh, there's a lot of things to choose from here, and uh, we're going to choose a few of them. I've messed around with a couple of these, and uh, I'm a fan of the, of the longbow because it's got fighters, which is kind of cool. I got a lot of cash. I got 100 grand. This thing's 37 of that grand. Um... I think I'll take it. I've also got this guy, which is my tanker, which helps me fly a little bit further, so we'll keep him around. But I will grab that guy, and I'm going to grab one other. I think I'm going to take the Wanderer, just because I'm familiar with it. Um, or maybe we'll do the, uh, maybe we do the Gladiator. Um, um, let's stick with the, uh, the Wanderer, I think. There we go. So those, we'll start with those three ships. We'll get more as time goes on. We have to manage crew and, and all kinds of things with this, but for right now, that's fine. I'm happy with that to start with. So, uh, we're days from departing from, from Kiva to begin our offensive uh, when that strange Elium in a golden mask approached me. Uh, I'm going to skip the story just because in the interest of showing off the game, you know, if you want to see the story, you got to get the game. But it, we'll see what's happening here. So, uh, Atarkin has found refuge in a city to the northwest of here. It would make sense to seek him out. All right, so I would like a tutorial because... Um, this isn't really the tutorial, it's just like a, there is a tutorial, uh, like a prologue thing. We've passed that, this is just sort of a, uh, point some things out as we play the game, which I think I do want that pure. Alright, so basically what's going on is we start out here at the bottom, in the city of Ur. And our job is to go capture the Kiva reactor, which is way up to the top. So we have to sort of fly our way up there, uh, and, and, and... Uh, beat them down. We we uh, it's protected by the uh, the governor's own squadron. We got to force them out of the city. Uh, it's imperative the reactor remain intact so we can't nuke it. Okay, got it. There's gonna be more worse threats out there. So there's uh, there's things out there, strike groups, and uh, we want to avoid them at all costs. Says uh, says Piotr here. Okay, they're gonna move around from time to time. Yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, if he sees us, they're just gonna come at us. So we got to make sure we keep an eye on our radar. This is certainly a simulation. Uh, it, it, with something made by Micropost, if it's, if it's it. Alright, so we, they're gonna get close to us, bad news. They're gonna fire missiles, we don't want that. Steer clear of them and track their movements at all times, got it. Information about that will be on our phone over there, so we'll see that in a minute. Capture on those stations, we can get a good idea of what's going on. Uh, and we got the idea. So we'll get to the end point, stay away from, from bad red blinking blips, and, uh, shoot other folks. Okay. Capture transport ship could be quickly ransomed for a sizable sum in any city. Could use it for the next phones. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. All right, so we are here outside the city of Ur. Uh, we can land here if we want. We don't need to. We we're gonna go fly somewhere else. So we've got Kush, we got Sardar, and Gadjar. Our job is to go initially to go meet with the Tarkins who are northwest of Ur. I'm not entirely sure where that is. Uh, I don't think it actually tells me where exactly they are, but we're gonna go and fly. Uh, I think over here to Kush. Well, why not? Go there, get ref We could stop by the closer one, I suppose, first. Faster repairs. We got purchase some reinforcements over this way. We have a nice fuel depot over here. I only have 44% fuel. I guess we could. Can I land here? Yeah, let's land here in Ur and pick up some, some, some supplies, I guess. So we'll bounce out from city to city. I'll show some combat here when we get to it. But right now we're just hanging out here. We're going to buy some gas. Let's gas up. Thanks, uh, guy. Appreciate it. We can also go to the shipworks if we wish. There's all kinds of things over here. There's actually nothing there. It just looks, I guess. We go to the shipworks though and take a look at our, our ship. We've got our tanker. We've got the longbow here who has plenty of planes on it. We can add some stuff to it if we wanted to, like, say, give them, I don't know, some missiles. Like, uh, where's my missiles at? 
Missiles are... Where are my missiles at? Oh, these guys don't have missiles, I guess. Um, but we can change all... We can, like, you know, we can add, like, all kinds of bits and bobs and, and re rearrange this thing however you want. And then rename it, you know, and add it. I don't want it. No. Well, well okay. We're going to have a piece of hole. Here, you know what? It's going to go right... Because I've got it. I'm going to spin it. It's going to go right... Um... It's it's gonna go right. Nope. It's just gonna go in my in my pocket. That's all. It's gonna, that's all it's gonna do. If we need to repair. We can do that. We can sell it. We here. We can do that. Also, uh, if I could buy some uh, some some missiles, I would do that. But there are no missiles here, so we're not gonna worry about it. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go play the game, shall we? All right. So we are we're fueling up still. I think. Yeah, and our our range is expanding as we fill up. I'm putting holding shift to spend some spend some time here. Uh, there's everything on this on this screen here. It's not just for looks. There's things going on here. Like we can see each of our ships on this side. Uh, we can come over here. We can like we can like manually fly the thing if we want by using all these buttons around here. Fuels at 57 percent right now as we speak. It. We're gonna hold shift and get it go along. Uh, here's our radar over here. We'll keep an eye on that. This is our radar signal to keep an eye on the bad things, the red blips. Keep an eye on that. Make sure they aren't coming at us. And trying to chew our face off. Uh, so we'll, yeah, you go away. Everything's fine right now at the beginning of the game. But we'll gas up here. Might as well. We're at the start. And we'll head out. All these little things, like missile control, all this stuff we can actually click. Or we can play this game the lazy man's way. And we can just, like, fly. I think we're just going to fly over to enemy intel. I think we're just going to go over to, like, Kush. So if there's a red circle around it, it means there's... We're probably thinking it means we're going to fight something when we get there. So let's go and... Hunt. We're good. Let's go fly there. So we're going to right-click. Easy way. You can see all the all the things happen. Like, we crank up the thrust. We start flying away. We gain some altitude. Wherever you see that. I got 120% crew. Morale is good. Everyone's happy. It won't last long. I'm going to hold shift and speed us along here as we fly out here. And uh, we're going to go and, and make our way to Kush. Uh, and probably get some fighting. We want to we want to see some of that. So then it turns into like there's different phases of the game. We've got like um, action art. We, we got we got sim style. We're doing right here. We've got action strategy or action style. We're gonna get into in just a minute. Uh, and then there's some sort of like little mini games, like chat mini games that we can get into when we get and try to meet people to try to get them to join our fleet. And there's fleet managing. All that stuff is in there. Uh, no, no, we're just getting with 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 all we got. Yeah, yeah. We get, so we got there's, there is a fleet around here. We're gonna go and blast them. So let's do it. Uh, there's a sense of warning message about our presence. The local garrisons will sound the alarm. Look out looking for us. So, yeah, people are looking for us. As he points, before long strike groups will change course and head this way. So, basically, don't hang out here for very long. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. So, let's, uh, let's fight. Okay. It's simple. WASD. Click. Uh, easy. Okay. So, we're going to arrange who we want in here. Now, one of the weird thing about the game is it's... We fight one ship at a time. So it's me versus their whole fleet. When my ship is done for, we're just going to... We'll just move it out, and the next guy comes in. That's how that works. And it goes sort of in this order. We don't want the big tanker to go in there. I sent everyone in, but it's fine. Yeah, we won't get to that. But let's go into battle. So welcome to the uh, the skies of uh, Kush. Um, let's begin. So I am... Where am I at? I'm over here on the right side. I'm using Wazi to fly around. We can hold shift to do a bit of a burst. I can hit X... To release the fighters, we can also fire like that. I turn the sound up a bit because the uh, the sound effects are fantastic. Ow! Wow! Man, that hurts. So on the side, my the the, the left side, you can see my uh, my bits and bobs on my ship. That was a terrible shot. Uh, you know, you can get like one lucky shot and take out all those things that are there. Like so, the blue I think is my fuel tanks. The yellow, I believe, I don't know what everything is. Uh, I forget. Uh, engines, of course, are on the bottom. Ouch. Ideally, I would avoid those shots, but I'm very bad. I'm just going to let my planes do all the work. Okay, so we got it. If I wanted to go to re the retreat over there to the left, I could go out and get my next ship and bring it in. So we're fine. We have victory. All is well. Okay. Uh, now, there could be survivors on the surface. Duke, if we don't save them, people will talk. So basically, we're at sort of a little, another little mini game here of of uh, of pick what you want to do. Other things are going to go away. Could salvage something valuable, something we could sell in the city. We could certainly use the money. Uh, we can make it. Must act quickly. Fire is spreading. It will consume the wreckage before long. What do we do? 
And be careful out there, my duke. Some of the things you find may be dangerous. Search for survivors. Disassemble, disassemble the hull. Secure the fuel tanks. Let's get the fuel tanks. Forget the people. Uh, and so as I'm saving, as I'm saving this one, the other ones are ticking down. So we're not gonna get the survivors. That one's gone. We can probably get the tanks and the hull though, in time. I think. Yep. Get that one. Okay. We're gonna get that. That one's going kind of slow, isn't it? We can, still, we can always hold shift to speed it along. Okay, we got 132 scrap. Press air cylinder. Explodes as your men were extinguishing the fire. The shrapnel shredded several crewmates. Well, that happens. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, let's secure the radio room. Okay, there we go. We got, uh, what? A ticket. Okay. Uh, the, uh, uh, that one. Get the ammo. Okay, got it. This mantle. Good. Uh, no. Just lodged in a fire. Oh, uh, what? Oh, man. This is difficult here. Okay, let's land. Morale's going down. People are getting a little bummed about this. Now we have to land. So now it's an instant landing minigame time. So we're going to choose the longboat. It's got some damage. We can get it repaired. So we're going to go and... Um, we don't have to dock to get repaired, but we're going to pick this guy because he's the most damaged and so we get fixed a little bit faster. So now we're at the land on the platform game. Lunar Lander, right? Remember that game? Uh, the, uh, there's like a little effect kind of in the background. Basically just pay attention to the yellow guy over there and land on one of these little platforms at the bottom. The bigger, the bigger the number that it's on, the better the repairs, essentially. So we're going to let them sort of drift down a bit. Um, this ain't easy, by the way. I have, I have wrecked so many landing gears. People are going to start talking. I don't know if I can fit in there, actually. I don't think I can. Let me, let me weasel on over. Wait, weasel, weasel, weasel. Okay, let's weasel on over here to the five. Because I don't think I can fit in there where the 60 is. <laughs> so that's where I was trying to go. Okay, let's ease it up. I'm just using Wazdy here. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Perfect landing. <laughs> okay, we did it. We got a repair bonus of 10%. Excellent. All right, welcome to the town of Kush. I can, oh, I can hire somebody. Um, what's over here? Oh, Tarkin. Oh, that's the guy we're supposed to talk to. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, buddy. A group of people from the ship approach you. They are dressed in military uniforms. They do not appear to be armed. Uh, a tall Ilium, 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 walks ahead of the rest. His face is open to the elements, and a sword shows its hilt from behind his back. All signs of a man of noble birth. Hello, sir. Uh, who's in charge here? So, as we talk to this guy, this is the talking minigame. Uh, little things are going to pop up. We'll learn with this. We, we're trying to get this guy to like us because he'll join us. We also can learn some things about him. Uh, I'm looking for some allies against this this uh, war on Kiva. You you uh, you want to join us? Okay, now mini game again. Come to full attention. Speak your mind. So we don't know anything about him right now, but we'll learn things as time goes on. Um, a great future awaits all the people of of Garrett. He's very proud. Yeah, I I Eliam. Yeah, so he liked that. Um, Let's talk about the great destiny of the of the Romani people. Oh, he doesn't like he doesn't like the Romanis. Okay, okay, that was a bad thing to say to him. Uh, uh, the Romani Empire, how the Eliams need it to survive. That's a bad thing to say to him. Let's say let's talk about the injustice. Now he values law. Okay, 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 that's good. All right. Um, why is it necessary? Why is a warrior necessary? On the woes of the people and how you wish to aid them. The fact that this is no time for philanthropy. Um, yeah, I'm a good guy. He values kindness. Well, who doesn't? Okay, so we're getting some some pips here, making him like us a bit more. It's a good speech, he says. Thanks, buddy. Um, on a decline of the... Yeah, he doesn't like us, so it's falling apart. He thinks that's, that's, that's right, yeah. Those guys are the worst. Okay. Now, if you follow the story, this makes a little bit more sense. But, you know. What you decide? You're going to join us? I will join you gladly, Grand Duke, he says. I want to meet others. Meet others. Where, where do I find them? Uh, all Tarkins become outlaws after the Kievan Revolution, but I've heard the rumors of a Tarkin living to the northeast of here. It's quite far. Can you give me, like, a town name or something? All right, so Omar Khan has joined us. We get a Paladin Mark II, which is what's most important. So we got a new ship that has joined our fleet now. By having a little chat with that guy. We can also buy that little ship there if we wanted to. Let's pick up some supplies, though, while we're here. From a, a bag head man. And we'll pick up a bit of fuel, because that's necessary. Uh, we'll also stop by... I think the ship works. As, oh, there's this guy here, too. What are you? 
You are a scarab attack corvette. You got some nice looking missiles on you. I'm not opposed to that. What about you over here? A tactical missile carrier. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Yeah, I'll buy it. You're cheap too. I'll buy you. So if you I get you blown up, no big deal. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at our ships. Make sure everything's good. Now, on these things, we can repair them. Of course, so we'll repair the guy. We, you know, get it all repaired, of course. We can also change things around if we wanted to, like I was doing talking about before. Um, emergency, you know, emergency pods, that kind of thing. Could be useful uh, if I fly like I like I have been. And, but no, no, no. It's it's fine. I've got ooh, a six-barrel close-in weapon system. I'm not opposed to that. Where you want to go, buddy? Can you go? I could like slap you on to whatever. Turn you this way. Can I put you like on the side over here somewhere? I can put you. The... Not really a lot of room for you. I can put you like. Where was that at? There, but I, I think it's gonna get in, in the way of that. I can put you on the bottom. I don't know if I can put you on top here, but I think it's not gonna fit any guns. I'm gonna take things off, and I don't want to mess. I don't want to move things around. I'm, I'm scared of that. Uh, if I knew the game better, I I would. I wouldn't be afraid of that, but uh, I'm a little scared of it. That's in the way of the uh, of the propulsion system, so we can't put it there. You can see there's a bit of a spot there, but it's, yeah, no good. All right, all right, we won't put a gun on you. What about the other guy, though? We've got other, other ships here. Um, yeah, let's let's leave there. What about... Oh, let's go back over here. What about, like, um, you might be able to fit something on you. Or this new guy. This little guy. That pal looks kind of nice, though. You know where you can go on here? I don't know. I don't know. Whoop. I don't know. I'm going to leave it alone. Just because I'm not quite familiar with it. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and keep on filling up here. We're getting repairs done as well. Time's a-wasting. A things are coming at me. And so we'll see this radio signal go a little wa uh, haywire when things get close. You can see they are coming at me. With that little flag there. Uh, we're going to fill up as much as we can, though. We gotta go northeast, so I'm gonna guess we're gonna go, I don't know, far northeast of Kush. We'll head up to here to Nim Nimreth. Enemy intel up that way. Cheaper fuel over there. Okay, let's gas up. Let's, let's go this way. Let's get out of here. We know things are gonna be coming in at us at from somewhere. We got a long way to go, though, to get way up there. I'm not sure how long the game... I'm not sure how long it gets there. I'm, I haven't looked at the uh, gameplay time. Prepare for a strike group. Uh, yeah, so I can prepare it and I can select which ships I want and leave, like, the tanker behind. Yeah, we just won't get to the tanker. It's fine. So let's get in there. We can see the attack group. They're calling their friends, of course. Afterburners with shifters. I talked about that before, I think. Uh, this guy's going to go in the back. I want... Um, I think what I'm going to do... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch the longbow, get the, the planes out, and then get him out of there, and then send in the next guys. I'm going to send in that paladin just because it looks kind of cool. I got this, this little guy. No, we'll do this. So the paladin will go in, launch off the ships, we'll retreat him, and then send in the, uh, or sorry, the longbow first, then bring out the paladin. Mark two. Alright, so let's go this way. I'm just gonna hit, uh, what was it? F for my X? X. Okay, avoid that missile! It's gonna hurt! Whoa, okay! Ow! Ooh, ow! So we gotta retreat. Oh, yeah, on the other side. Ow! On the other side over here, which actually is not over the other side. My, 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 uh... My little planes, that was a terrible shot, are, are doing the job. Ooh. Holding shift to try to get out of that. I gotta get over there, way over there to get retreated, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna fire this guy. Just the one. So on the, le on the left side, you can see my, my ammo there, sort of. It's all the little clicks. I turned the sound up. Let's see what the Because the sounds are just fantastic. All the little clicks and bings and bops. It certainly has that, that atmosphere going for it. Engine overheating, yeah, yeah. Blast them already! I'm trying to think this this uh, carrier doesn't have... Oh, no! Got him. Okay. <laughs> I was about to get blown away there. All right, we got him. Excellent. Okay, now we go into the, this, this little mini game again. And we want to fuel. Let's get some ammo first, I guess. The worldview doesn't appreciate my, uh, by allowing things to happen. Uh, whatever. Let's do that. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll dismantle that, that thing. 
Um, secure the captain's cabin. That seems reasonable. Some important paperwork. Some enemy communication mentioned Tarkin ships east of city Nimrath. Okay, so let's go to east of city Nimrath. We'll do it. And then we'll go do that one. Ooh, we got a golden elephant. Well, can't ask for more than that. Okay, that's nice. Let's land here. We're going to send down... Anyone damaged? You has damaged. So let's go and land that guy again. Oh, boy. All right, let's get over... Look at that 64 down there. That's, that's good stuff, but I'll never make it. Okay, let's ease them on over here. Okay, nice and easy like. 300 meters. 300 meters. Turn a little bit. Q and E rotates me just a bit. And nice. Just over just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Done. How's something? Repair speed a little bit. I'll take it. Dozen couple tents dot the sand along the edge of the city, surrounded by vehicles and scurrying servants. All signs of a visiting caravan. You decide to pay them a visit and ask them about the current events. I certainly do. Uh, I greet you warmly. Life is too tough these days. Too tough. Caravan leader tells you in dismay. We used to move at night to stay safe away from the clans and their ships, but now our caravans are disappearing even in the dead of night. We thought it was the work of pirates, so we went to them to pay the customary ransom, but the clans knew nothing of our missing caravans. Take heed, Grand Noyan. Something is amiss in the desert, and end times are nigh. Uh, tell me about these um, hidden cities. Tell me about the Tarkins. That's what I want to know about. A Tarkin lives to the east of here. All right. That's not really any help. Is that like not like like this kind of east? No, like outside, right? Yeah. Uh, let's go to supplies, and I'll, I'll gas up. I suppose we should go to like the cheaper spots to gas. We can see this extends our range. We could go way out there if we wanted to. There's Nimrath. So somewhere east of here is some sort of funny business. Uh, the ship, I think, is is good. We can repair the guy, which we will do. Um, okay. Do we not get all our planes on there? Hmm. Okay. Normally, if, if I if I had a spot for this, it would it would light up for me. Um. Wait, can I put, since there's not a, you know, no, all right, all right, it was worth a shot. Uh, all right, so let's go leave there, and uh, exit. Captured a, a trope of scatter, communication stations. Supply us with intel on enemy movements until they realize what's happened. Oh, yeah? I want data on that one. I'm not sure what that is. So many way over there. Okay, there's one of those guys over there. Okay, okay. Uh, we know we want to go to... Where was it? Uh, Kyrieth? No, it wasn't Kyrieth. It was... It was Kimrith, right? East of Kimrith. Okay, so something something's on its way here. We can, like, tune tune to the signal and all that. You know, there's all kinds of things. Yeah, what are we doing? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I didn't quite catch all this stuff in the tutorial. Um... I just know. I just know the word was stay away from that. So uh, I can understand that. So let's go to rare modules over there. Ship repairs, cheaper fuel. Let's go to the rare modules. Let's get out of here. We got mostly fueled up. I think I just paid for for fuel that I didn't use because I'm scared of that red blip over there. I'm gonna come over here. The, the morale is, you know. Uh, you know, we send them all in there. I'm gonna hit them with. Uh, we're gonna try a different ship this time. Missiles are really cool and really powerful. I'm gonna try a missile boat. Uh, volley fire, charge up, and then fire, which is like the what's that? Right click, I think. I think so. I never do that one. Uh, let's bring in. I think a big Nimrod guy there. They got a attack corvette, something else here, and another yeah, a couple attack corvettes. Um, yours was a missile boat, right? Let's send in. Let's send in yours. I think we have some, right? We have missiles on this guy, I believe. I think that's what it said. Where are they at? They're all down there. Ooh, it's some lightning there. Oh, whoa, whoa. This guy's much quicker, which is nice. There's missiles coming at me. I'm going to avoid those. Oh, I ran. I <laughs> didn't do it. Okay. It's an abandoned ship. Okay, new ship. <laughs> I didn't like that ship anyway. It's okay. Okay. Get those things out of there. 
And... We volley it? No. Ouch, ouch, oh. Leave the targets. Okay. Little guy, little guy here. Oh, yeah, we blasted that guy. Oh, ow, ow. It really hurts when they hit me from underneath. Because I got no armor down there. I just have engines. It really hurts. A missile coming in. We gotta move, uh, move faster. Man, this ship's so slow. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here and get the next ship in. Oh, it's gonna hurt a lot. Take that, buddy. And you want more of that? Are you dead already? I'm gonna get you again. No shooting. Ooh, those look like they hurt. Okay, yeah, there's lots of red things on uh, down on me. Check out that guy that's like burning and going down. The game is so pretty. The atmosphere is perfect. Get me out of get me out of here. Okay, next ship is in. This is now my. Uh, do you have missiles? Fire the missiles. Oh, I'm just gonna run right into those. <laughs> Heat seeking missiles. There we go. Oh, did you blow them all up? Well, that wasn't very nice. Ooh. Those are the big guns. I got the little guns, too. My fuel system is burning, which is B, I think? B to uh, activate the, uh, uh, the, uh, um, whatever. Thing to make that stop. Those are terrible shots. So I fired my whole volley of missiles here. I could bring out the next guy, I suppose. But I think I'm in good shape here. There we go, we got him. Okay, uh, we had some problems. Uh, so we lost a few folks. We, we rescued the other guys, though, and they've they've made it. Uh, well, so, some of them, anyway. Okay, we can do all this kind of stuff. But I think it's a good place to call it a day. So, there we go. This is High Fleet by Microprose. It, it just makes me happy saying that name again. If I said that before, I know I apologize, but I played so many Microprose games growing up. It's like, like my childhood is Microprose games. Uh, so, any, anyway, and they're back. And uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with, with the looks of this one anyway. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll put links to the Steam page below, and I will see you next time.